Happy New Year everyone and welcome back to the channel. Firstly I'd just like to apologise that the video is a little late coming out, it's not wasn't out yesterday but we had um, we could get it up in time for the editing and uploading as we are on the road. But here we are and uh, thank you for joining us and this video is all about us getting on the ferry at Plymouth and um, trying to get away from the weather actually with the weather chasing us on our tails and all the way drive through France. So we arrived here at Massanet de la Salva. I'm 100% sure I haven't pronounced that right, but enjoy the video. So here we go, we're in uh, front lane, got through security. Yeah, all in, all done. Yeah. Sure. Got a light? Hey. hey. Got a bit of light. So yeah, and we're, yeah. Yeah, just waiting to board now. I don't Wait know how long we'll be sitting here for, but. But they were a lovely, lovely bunch, weren't they, Scott? Great really, bunch of guys, really yeah, nice. security guys, yeah, they were really good. Really friendly. Yeah. yeah. Really friendly bunch. Lovely. Very polite. Yeah, no problems. So, yeah. Here we are. Laughing a joke. <laughs> we're on. We're on. So yeah, we're here. We're on the ferry. And we dive straight into the canteen. First pit stop. Wasn't it? Yeah. Well, we actually went to the dropped the bags off. Came straight up here. Came back, grabbed some food. This was starving. Absolutely, yeah. starving. It's very nice. I've got pork, and you've got curry. Mm. Chicken curry. Mm. And our meal is more. It was more. Less free, no, wasn't no, it? Yes, that's fine. We've got two courses. Yeah. Two drinks, and we had our because um, we're part of the privileged privilege. Mm. We've got it only cost us a fiver. Yeah, we've got four pound ten. Oh, four pound ten. Even yeah. better. Even better. So yeah, Bargain. really good. Can't complain about that. Oh. Well, we're having a blouse now. Mm. We're in the chocolate section. Mm. Mm. Just you some, like Kit Kats, don't you? I do like Kit Kats, but look at these over here. Scott just picked them up. Yeah, that looks delicious. Cherry rum, mm. they do look good. Yeah. Not cheap, but no. liqueurs, though, aren't they? <coughs> yeah. I love those. Oh, I love those. Cute little tin. Yeah, cute, aren't they? It's up here. Oh, look, Lego. <laughs> That's pretty cool, isn't it? Some Lego on board. Yeah. Ah, uh, Lego friends, look. <laughs> so we've uh, we're just leaving port. Um, two hours later. Two hours later, yeah. So due to weather, they delayed the sailing for two hours, basically. So we are what? I don't know what time. Are, what time are we? Ten past ten. So. Yeah. Yep, 10 past 10, 2 hours 10 minutes late. Well, apparently, we're still getting in at the same time. I'll just put the hammer down a bit, I suppose. So, yeah, dice for the air shivering, I believe. Well, <laughs> dice for the air shivering. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get back inside, but we'll just show you a little show in. Some 
somebody left their car alarm on as per usual I think Beastie? Yeah. Yeah. Let us know where we are. <laughs> Here she is. We um, <laughs> came off the main highway, didn't we? Because we <laughs> thought we were finding fuel. And we are literally... There was no garage there. And now we're in a little village, look. <laughs> <laughs> no garage, just a little village. No garage. So, also... Stupid Tom Tom. It literally took us... This is like the sixth or seventh garage. Well, should we do it? Should we do it? And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the one what the one that we did choose. Yeah, we're going to do it. Gonna yeah, we're going to do it. And then it's no garage. <laughs> yeah, it's great. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> <laughs> so it's our first toll coming up. Yep. 200 miles, first toll. Yeah. Oh. Kind of narrow, aren't they? Yeah, okay, Maybe so should have gone through with the Yeah. I got my ticket. I have to get out of the So this is the morning and we are in La Rochelle. Yeah, in, lovely um, little area. It's really lovely, was it? I like that area, it's a little farm, isn't it? I'm oh. trying to search my brain now what it's called. We'll put it up we'll, on the screen. We'll put it on the screen, but highly recommended guys. And you're in, if you're in the La Rochelle area, um, it's not very far from the centre. And it's a really lovely little place. Yeah, it's great for 10 euros. Ten with electric. Tonight, with electric, yeah, so you can't argue with that. Site, although, you know, it's a bit of a stretch, you've got plenty of hose, yeah. you can do it, but... Beautiful. Yeah, I'll just give you a, a pan around. So here's our Nelly, right here. And if we can fit, most people can. Oh yes, definitely. As you can see, there's plenty of room. We're on a standard pitch. Yeah, we overhang a little bit, but we're not, you know, upsetting anybody. And nobody's here, but... As you can see, there's farm animals here for the children too. Goats and pigs and... Yeah, it's absolutely <coughs> lovely. Really highly recommended, everyone. And yeah, look at that. And a beautiful sun has come up this morning. But we are on our way down through Toulouse to our next air in Bram. And we're just trying to get to stay ahead of the weather because the weather's landing here, isn't it? It's got yeah. in big time, isn't it? To another this wind tonight, this basically. Later on this afternoon here, isn't it? Yeah, tonight. So we are off this morning. Yep. Yeah. We're uh, running away from the weather. Yeah. We've had enough of it back at home. Yeah. So that's where yeah. what we're doing today, and we'll keep you uh, guys tagged along with the journey. See you later. See you later. Hi everyone. So firstly, I apologise if you're a little bit monkey. I put the camera on the dashboard. Scott seems to think we're a little bit wonky, so <laughs> I'm sure we'll find out when this video goes out and you do the end of today. Scott. Well, I'm not really looking at it because uh, I'm driving. You're so. concentrating. So, yeah, we are now en route to Bram, which is in between um, Toulouse and Carcassonne. Yeah. I want to say. And um, yes, that's 
that's where we're heading. And we're trying to make our way down to beat this awful weather, aren't we? Cause there is a storm just behind us, we believe, according to the weather forecast, and it comes in tonight here at La Rochelle. So um, we were going to stay a couple of nights at La Rochelle because I love that city. I really do. Yeah, I wanted beautiful. to go and see. But we looked at the weather, and the weather is shocking with high winds, and we'd much rather not travel on route um, with high winds with Nelly. No, especially because she's four metres high, yes. so it's a high-sided vehicle. So we had no real choice, otherwise if we'd stayed another night we'd be stuck here probably for another three. And we didn't particularly yeah. want to do that, just, just because of the high winds I do. So we are trying to stay ahead of that storm, heading down to, like I say, just past Toulouse today. Um, we put the, um, we use the lorry sat nav, we put the coordinates in. We had a little bit of trouble finding the air that we're staying on tonight. Air du lac, it is in Bram. So yeah. let's hope it's as good as the one we just stayed in. Yeah, well that wasn't an air, was it? That was, um, yeah, it's like a little, little was, farm. Little farm, yeah. yeah. But that was awesome. It's lovely. Recommend it to anybody. Yeah, really, really would, guys, if you didn't. Yeah, you've probably seen it. <laughs> yeah. So, um, yes, yeah, so we're going to be stopping for fuel after about 200 miles because that's all we kind of get with Nelly to be on the safe side before we start panicking looking for fuel stations. Um, well, yeah, maybe before that, maybe 150 actually. We've got yeah. 230 in the tank. Right. So. Just so we're not panicking. Mm. We've not had any issues with the no. height of the. Um, we've stopped twice now for fuel. Yeah. Actually, one with Nelly and then one when we've got here. Uh, at La Rochelle. Yeah, because we were told that um, the what do you call them? The, the height the covers the covers on the petrol stations. Yeah. Uh, we were told that they're all like really low, but we're just going past one now. Actually, even that's well, four meters, four and a half meters. Four and a half. Yeah, that's so just a no, little garage. So no I don't problem. know. So we've not had that issue at all. No. Um, we were charged. We had to pay by card because two of them were self serve. And yesterday I had a bit of shock. I looked on my bank and it took like two amounts of money, like one big amount and the actual amount for the fuel. I was like, oh no! It's like 400 euros. Yeah, honestly, it? it was like, where's like, my money Jesus. gone? But I looked this morning and it's all back, isn't it? It's all back. Yeah, they've taken off the higher amount. That's back in my account, thankfully. So, yeah, it's the pre authorization thing, isn't it? Yeah, apparently? yeah because obviously uh, you put, put the card in and because we were told it's going to take seven to ten days to come back, which is going to be like what? That's what you googled last night, yeah. wasn't it? Um, but no, it came back. In it was the okay. Morning. It's all good this morning. It's all fine. So yeah. So it's now we uh, yeah. There's a lot of floods around here. <laughs> yeah. It was raining last night. I didn't even hear it. That's how soundly I slept last night. You slept like a baby, didn't you? I was tired though after that awful ferry ride. Yeah. Because it was so bumpy. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh, look at that yellow blob in the sky, guys. I know you probably won't know what that is. But that is the sun. <laughs> We've been missing that, yeah. Uh, <laughs> who turned the lights on? <laughs> we are coming up to the tolls now. Oh, it's a big one as well. Mm. Um, make sure you're not going to the right, Scott. We haven't got tags. We don't have tags because... No, it's going through where the lorry just went through. Tag, yeah, but that's it? tags, yes. T is toll. Oh. Tag is the, the Oh the lie things. So yeah, we're having it. Oh hold on, just stop. Just can you just stop for a minute? Reserve eh? We don't want to go through the reserve. Pardon? No, I'm not going through, go through, I'm going this, through, this, through one. this one. Cool. So we didn't automatically get our tag because they charge us for the class four. Um because of our height. So we have to we have to beg with them to change <laughs> to us. Change us to class two. You'll show them now, won't you? Oh well, hopefully. Do this multitask. Let's see if they've got class us on four. class four. So, as you can see, they put us on class four. Put us on class four there. For your security. Bonjour. Bonjour. Euh, nous sommes classe 2. Euh, classe 2, il est un peu gros le truc. Oui, merci. Merci beaucoup. Awesome. Well done, honey. So 
So it's 26.50 on a class two. All done. And we're done. That was uh, a little bit more hairy than the last time. It's quite narrow coming through here. Yeah, because uh, the, the lady last time was a lot quicker. I think he had a really good look at us. All <laughs> yeah, right. And he was speaking to me in French. I uh, could only speak a little French. Um, I have no idea what he was saying, but. Follow eight ten. Put my seatbelt on, guys. So yeah, all good. He charged us uh, for class two, which was twenty six euros. So yeah, all good. But we have to do. We have just had to ask them, so that's why we couldn't get uh, an automatic tag, which would have been easier. But we don't want to pay those class four charges. No, so. no that'd be horrendous. I think. So we're just approaching Bordeaux and going over the bridge that um, over the river that runs right through Bordeaux. Beautiful city. We went there uh, last year in our car, didn't we? We did. Yeah. Was Scott was very year? brave. It was last year, wasn't it? Yeah. Drove right into the city centre. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it is a beautiful, beautiful city. Oh, hello. I've got to reach across Scott. Sorry, Scott. I can reach right across him because I can't see anything because of the uh, we're at the Scott's right hand side. Yes, beautiful. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. We've just um, been in a four, four and a half mile um, traffic jam yeah. coming through Bordeaux. Yeah. come to France you see uh, trees especially in the winter or um, autumn and you see the trees with lots of like balls of green in um, just to let you know is one coming up see that is mistletoe for any of you that don't know and there are, seems to be so many trees here that has um, mistletoe yeah a lot more than in the UK. Yeah. Don't see it as much in the UK. Well, a lot, but. Y yeah, we do. France is like everywhere. Yeah, e everywhere in France. We noticed it in uh, the UK once we've been to France. Mm. Yeah, that's what it is. It's not bird's nest, as I originally thought when I very first saw them. Well, it was bird. you and Sharon, wasn't it? Yeah. Your sister. We were yeah. driving along, and you're like, what are all these weird trees? Yeah, well, it's mistletoe. We discovered it was mistletoe. Yes. <laughs> yeah. So hi everyone again. We are now on the road to um, Toulouse. We're on the A62 French road, obviously. <laughs> and um, we just wanted to let you know why we have chosen this route. And it's mainly because uh, we don't want to go on the higher... Um, the higher mountains. Higher, higher yeah. mountains, don't we have the Pyrenees? Well, the Pyrenees, yeah. So that's purely why we've taken this route, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, I've been told that I think the lower down, uh, I think it's Perpignan, across to Girona. Um, Tom Tom, Tom, Tom thinks, Tom thinks to we want to talk to it. I don't know <laughs> yeah. what it's all about. It randomly pops up when you don't want it. But yeah, when you want it, you can't get it to. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, we've got. All the way down to Perpignan and across to Girona. To Girona. Um, I'm going to Spain that way. Yeah, it's about 300 metre climb as opposed to going across to Pamplona, which I believe is more like 800 metres. Yeah, we don't want so, to strain on there. But it's quite quite a climb in parts as well. So, yeah. Nelly is very heavy and we always know when we're going up a hill, that's for sure. So yeah. yeah. So we just thought we'd let you know why we chose this route. Yeah. Yeah. Just spotted, as you can see through the trees, 
that beautiful, is it a um, chateau? Yeah, it looks like yeah, a chateau. Like chateau, doesn't it? How lovely is that? Very French. Yeah. Lovely. Beautiful. going to stop in a little rest place so we can grab a bit of lunch. If it's big enough. <laughs> if it has any bigger spots. <laughs> there you go. You can park there. Yeah. And then that takes you out there okay. anyway. We're all good. We shall have a spot of lunch. Yes. Lunch time because we're starving. Yeah! <laughs> Not sure where I got up to then, but my battery died. But yeah, so just stopping for a spot of lunch. Nice air. Lovely. We're just having a um, cup of tea, pot noodle because it's quick and easy. So yeah, don't normally eat pot noodles that much, but I do enjoy one now and again. Oh, we're getting on, lovely. We're good. Oh, we're good. Pot we are good. Pot noodles are on its first weight. Hey. <laughs> but yeah, I just had enough pet water in the kettle to do our supper as well. Nice. Some bread and butter. Yeah, have a piece. Might need it, might it? Yeah, it does need it. Have a piece and see what you think, and if you want more, we can do more. Happy to get these. Oh, this is nice, Scott. <laughs> yeah. It's cute, isn't it? Much rather be here than in the service station. Yeah. <clears throat> the chateau in the background. It's a lot cheaper doing this, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Couple of quid for lunch instead of being robbed for 25. Yeah. Had enough fuel. <laughs> mm. Only downside to pot noodles is they'll fill you up a lot. Mm. Hence the bread. Quite nice though. Not too bad. They're growing on me. So are these the air type of airs that people stay overnight? You can, yeah. <clears throat> I mean, some people say they're not safe, but I don't see why they wouldn't be. I mean, there'd have to be opportunists, wouldn't there? Because mm. looks like it's well lit. Or do they come just to see who's here and steal? Because they've got to have. That's a bit of an expensive away. route, isn't it? Because they were on the actual toll road. Yeah, I was going to so say, who's going to cost them a fortune? Who's going to pay the toll <laughs> just to see if they can come and? Unless they're going to walk, and then, you know, they could walk here from three mile away, and there's nobody here. So, mm. I don't know. I think some places can be a little dodgy. It's very pretty here. Maybe on the free motorways. Yeah, maybe. And maybe closer to the ports as well. Mm. Well, there's a few unsavoury characters trying to get across the channel. Mm. I mean, it's very pretty. Mm. Very pretty. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, <clears throat> they do things differently in France, don't they? Mm. In the UK, you'd have concrete walls to look at. <laughs> yeah, that'll do, yeah. Mm. A few skips. Mm. So everyone, slight change of plan. Um, yeah, we decided not to stop at Ram. Yeah. And we've just decided to keep going. We're just going to keep going. We just want to get to Spain now, don't we? Really? Uh, yeah. We're um, going to have a couple of days, aren't we, in Ram? But we're feeling comfortable on the drive. You're okay. Yeah. Driving. And we thought, why don't we just just get a little bit further? Yeah. So we are going to chance it on an air, 
and uh, in the morning <laughs> we'll let you know <laughs> we'll let you know, yeah. um, how it went but um, yeah we're just gonna trundle through it's uh, five o'clock um, local time so we've still got a bit of light because it doesn't go dark here till about half past five because we're an hour ahead obviously um, so we do have a little bit longer but it's very dark I tell you what it's very dark in the morning like it doesn't get light, yeah, does it? About it's about nine hours half night. eight, quarter to nine, which is really weird. Yes, yeah, so, yeah, so at least nine o'clock. Yeah. So yeah, um, we're carrying on through. We're going to do probably what another forty mile before we stop. Yeah. We're not going yeah. to drive in the dark. We'll, no. probably, we'll probably find somewhere to stay just as it's going dusk. Get some fuel. Yeah. We've got tea sorted. Got yeah. a nice beef stew tonight, haven't we? Yeah. And as we speak on here right now. We're only 167 miles from Girona, Spain. We're chasing the sun. We're chasing the sun. And isn't we found it, it. Isn't it beautiful, guys? I'm sorry we if we're making you um, jealous. Sorry, Scott. Oh, well, it's back there somewhere. But yes, look, it's beautiful. It's beautiful blue skies. Look at that. It's been a long time since we've seen that. <laughs> I know, I think I think we're just a little bit drunk from yeah, the sunshine. Yeah, a bit shell-shocked. <laughs> yeah. Hence why we're just time. cracking on. Oh, it's beautiful um, yeah. light over there. Isn't it? Yeah, it is lovely. But yeah, beautiful. Beautiful colour. Yeah. So we'll pick you up when we've stopped. Show you where we are. Yeah, because it's a dog. <laughs> <laughs> might see you in the morning. Au revoir. So everyone, we are having to, we're coming for fuel and we've had to come into the HGV section because, actually I don't know if you see, there is a height barrier there. Can you see just behind Scott? And it was, was it a three metre? Three three. Three three and we are four meters we would not have got in where you go for fuel which is just next door so we had to come into this one it's the only one that you gave us one it scott yeah well obviously hgvs it's a big fat nozzle so we've got an adapter i don't know if you can see that put an adapter in there just for circumstances like this just in case and I'm very, very glad we did. <laughs> the circumstances like this one now. Because the, uh, the fuel comes out very fast out of the HGV nozzles, because they're big, fast delivery. So I just gotta ease the trigger so it doesn't spill out everywhere. But yeah, I'm glad we did. So, it's a slow uh, process, but it's working. It's working, yeah. So if anybody else has got high vehicles on a road, it may happen to you. You might, you know, get a height barrier. I would highly suggest you invest in yeah. one of those. Where did you get it from, Scott? Amazon. Oh, Although it, it came from, I'm not sure where it came from. It was Amazon, but um, I had to wait for like a week for it. So mm. I don't know where it came from, Germany maybe or something like that. It's actually marked up as a, a Volkswagen, or Audi adapter, but it fits in any diesel tank. Cool. Glad we got it anyway. Yeah. I see the light shining on the stage. This is what I imagine every day. Checking up a daddy, gone, gone, so.